I know. Hey, but you've all, you're always writing. No, no, that's not true exactly because after, you said after, I've after Summer Sisters, uh -huh. after Summer Sisters, I said I'm never doing this again. Never doing this again. But what made you do this? 25 well, seconds. It, it okay. goes 17 years. I wrote a lot of books, but not another long, complicated adult. Because, because you the said light after, was struck. After Summer Sisters, you said, I'm never doing an adult book. Is that what you mean? I'm not sure. 30 seconds. <laughs> hello, hello. Are you going to take me? I am going to take you if you're going to come. Okay. Awesome. Fun, well, I have no choice. <laughs> yeah, I have to do it. I'm Patty. Uh, you don't the, the, fit, the price we have to pay for having a full life should not be fatigue. That yeah. just, that I, you know, that's really the main point of my book, the challenge that I want um, to make. I really want to change the conversation around fatigue. And then the second, it is personal for me. So yeah. a lot, uh, most of the things that I put in the book are just based on research and science or my, my clinical experience in the office. But it is also personal. It's things that worked for me. Um, so, and some of the points that you liked, Gail, were a part of this seven-day exhausting breakthrough um, uh, challenge. You can't yeah. It's surprising how it is controversial. Um, you know, there are things in bed that require two people, but sleep isn't one of them. Um, so <laughs> you should no, say that. Uh, it's. I mean, it is true. It, and and during the seven days, it's about minimizing things that disrupt your sleep mm -hmm. to to actually see the quality of sleep.